Hello everyone and welcome back to I Love Editor X. Today we will learn how to create to create a full screen score snap. Um, what it mean? Basically, uh, this is something that I saw in lots of websites. Is when you just start to scroll down a little bit, it automatically scroll and snap it to the top of the next section. All right. Uh, here it's a bit difficult to see because the background is identical to everything but as you can see when I'm just start to scroll down a little bit it, it scrolls down to the next section all right it gives you really um, smooth feeling and really focus the, the user about your content all right so let's jump to the editor and see how I create it um, Actually, I was pretty much struggling with it uh, because there is unwanted behavior that is um, that I couldn't figure out why it's happening. But anyway, there is a workaround. So the logic is like this. So if I have a section, when I scroll down and start to see the next section, I want the page to automatically scroll immediately to the next section and dock it to the top, right? Same for the next one. When I scroll down, I need to see it. I need to automatically scroll down to this section, all right? And so if I try to do it like really straightforward, so first row I need to make sure that my section is at least 100 dh which means 100 percent from the viewport height all right um, because if it would not be 100 dh so I already see part of the next section and what will happen is automatically we scroll down right we don't want it we, we need the user to just scroll a bit down and then it will start happening all right um so here because this website is not um is not premium i i also have the 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 banner of editor x here so how can i overcome this i can calculate it i need to do it uh basically 100 vh minus, minus 50 pixels which is this one all right so let's do it quickly i go to calculation and set it to be minus 50 pixels all right if you have a premium website you don't need it so let's do it for this one also and the last one is this one all right so let's do it really straightforward okay so i will select the second section and open the dev mode and i will add um event handler that says when the viewport is enter okay section five viewport enter what i need to do i need to scroll to i need to scroll to this section here right so let's do it uh section 5 scroll to all right and same for this one let's recreate it and again i need to scroll to yourself all right this is the logic very simple um, but this is the issue i faced okay and you you immediately see it so I refresh the page and look what happened. So immediately the page is scrolled down. All right. So, so here when I scroll up, it's okay. And if I scroll down a little bit, it should scroll, but it's not working. But the last one is also, it is, is working. So anyway, there is some, there, there is a, uh, something that I can I couldn't figure out. What I'm thinking of is that the, the browser always see like part of, of the next section, right? So anyway, I found a way to, uh, 
to get over this to, to overcome this uh, issue uh, and the secret is to add another element and I will show you what I meant so I will create I will add an SVG uh, just something like this and don't use container why don't why I add SVG and not container because SVG is not a container so if you put elements it will not go inside the, the SVG. Uh, all right, so what we need to do is basically I will dock it um, to the left top and it will be 100%. All right, and the next thing that I want to do is I will set its height to be, uh, you know what, I will stretch it. All right, so it fills my section. All right, and I will send it back so I can see this text. And the important thing, oh, no, I need to remove it. The important thing that I need to do is I need to remove one pixel from the top and the bottom. I don't need it in the first section, but I'm doing it anyway here. It's it's good practice, right? So this is my shape, and I will copy it and paste it right here so again see I'm docking to all sides it fills the section but I'm make sure, making sure that we I have one pixel margin from the top and one pixel margin from the right so finally you can see a bit of the background of the section all right uh, I will change the color remember this is an SVG it's not a container and again let's copy it and paste it right here in this third uh, section and stretch it one pixel from top one pixel from right and let's recolor it all right so now what i want to do is i will add the event handlers to the background sections and not to, to these elements and not to this section itself all right so let's do it um, so the first the first one this is the first one um, on viewport and on viewport enter what I want to do I want to scroll to its section not to this shape to the section so let's select the section and this is the idea of the section and I want to uh, I want to scroll to you scroll to All right so this is one and I need to do same thing for this shape the second second sh section shape and I like to scroll to I need to find the right ID this section ID it's section 5 and last one I need to really change the color all right last one is this shape on the port enter I need to scroll to its section, uh, section four, All right? All right, amazing. Let's publish it. And refresh the site. So first thing is good that we are not scrolling automatically to the next one. And then if I start to scroll down, it's snap to the second section if I just scroll a bit what I did wrong vector 5 oh I didn't change this ID it should be 4 all right so let's publish it all right so up up all right and again, if I scroll up, 
why it's not happening to the last one I don't know why it's not happening to the last one to the first one sorry when I go back so let's see this is the vector 4 on viewport enter so I want to scroll to section 1 it's look okay but let's see the calculation is this okay this one oh, it should be okay why it's not working scroll down scroll I don't know what is going on let's let's remove it and create another one Mm -hmm. okay one from the bottom and let's recreate this event handler and I like to scroll to section one all right let's try it I need to delete this one okay now it's working I don't know why it's not working before but now it's working let's do the whole flow all right amazing so now it's working um, okay so this is like very straightforward and really easy to to do right really really easy um, I, cre I created um, a bit differently uh, in this example and I'm really don't know why <laughs> okay <laughs> because this is like super simple very straightforward um, but you need to make sure to create this export function yourself as you as you saw that I did here you have to to have this one all right so now I will show you the second method which is uh, a bit more complex but but I, I like it better I don't know why basically because I don't need to cre to create the export functions each time uh, I, I create another section okay because here I need to go to the elements and create this event handler and I don't like to rely on it so let's do it uh, with the second method so I will just copy this ones and I will paste it right here and let's remove all the previous code that we did and I don't need this one also all right so I will remove all this uh, export function from the sections let's delete it and delete it all right amazing and now I will give it some <clears throat> I will give it good names okay so this is the first vector vector art uh, so I will just copy this first ID which says section one background right very logic logic uh, name and the second one it will be section two background and the third one will be section three background all right so as you can see i don't have four five here so i will remove them all right so this is what you need to do okay just this id this is what you care about 
Okay, I will explain what everything does, but this is the important stuff. But let's publish the site and see if it's working for us. All right, so let's refresh it and do it again to make sure. And you can see that it's working as expected. All right, so let's go over this code and, and see, because it, it's super easy, it's just copy paste. This is why I'm showing you this method, right? So first step, let's make it bigger. All right, first step on page ready, what we do, we are getting all the page section, all right? So what I'm doing, I'm going to page children. The Let's see how it looks. So this is the layers panel and this is the page. The children of the page is all the sections, right? And what I'm doing here, I'm I'm looking that if section type is equal to section, it means that this element is is like section type. I will show you why I need to check it because if, for example, I I'm adding um, a text element and I pin it to the page, let's make it pinned to the page. So now the page has child that is text type. And not section type, right? This is why I, I'm, I'm checking which type of this element. So if it's it's section, what I'm doing, I'm taking the section element and push it to the page sections array, right? So finally, this um, variable uh, hold all array with all my page sections, right? Second action that I'm doing, I'm going, I'm I'm uh, in its section called snap. All right. So what I'm doing here, this is your part. I have here an array with all the sections background IDs. All right. So remember that we add this shape that covered the section. You see, it's basic shape. So you need to paste here the right section ID. All right. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm uh, iterate all these background containers. Uh, it should be shapes, but anyway, let's change it to shapes. So all these background shapes, for each one of them, I this is all the shape, not container. And this is all the index. So zero, one, two. All right. So the background shape is this is where I'm getting the I, the element itself, and then I I set it on viewport enter. Uh, scroll to which section? The section inside this array with uh, that is equal to this ID to this uh, uh, shape ID right so it's working and I added here a, a comment this is what you need to replace based on your elements this is all the section back background shapes right so that's it this is all what you need to do you need to copy it paste it in your page um, and just to show you that this is working let's create another one i will call it section four all right and i will add another shape because this is the flow let's add it right here we'll give it some color mm, it's this green again i will stretch it one margin from the top one from the bottom and let's send it to back and now what what i need to do uh, also i need to because it's the last one it's not important but i need to make sure this section is at least uh 100 dh we we use the calculation but because it's, it's the last one i don't care and all I need to do, I need to get this shape ID 
but instead of vector image 4 I will change change it to section background 4 and I will add it to my list this is 3 I need to be 4 let's publish it and now we should also apply to this last se new section that we created so let's refresh it the first one working third for everything is working as expected and of course we need to check the mobile version and okay so let's refresh it and you can see that it's actually working same as my desktop version all right so that's it i will add um the code right here below uh, actually i create here some uh, part of the design i am explaining what we did and finally i will add here another section with all the, with the copy paste code uh and link to the tutorial all right so that's it i hope you enjoyed it i hope you will um uh, use it and until next time Keep building amazing sites on Adorix.